Hey okay, guys, welcome back. So, just a, a wee quick chat on my journey home. And just really want to just talk about tools and stuff that I'm using at the minute. And so, obviously, how to go with the power float, the, that's the major tool at the minute that we're, we're using and um, well, that we're testing. So, not really great weather sure all the boys out there who are doing rendering and um, know that it's not good dry weather at all um, and what I was working over was red brick normally it's high suction but there was actually old old paint on it too which seems to be holding back the top coat slightly as well and um, held back all the other coats as well that didn't really help when you're trying to power float and I think I need to be better practice with the power float and possibly in better weather and so hopefully hopefully I'll get a couple of real dry days and something something you know biggish where I could use the power float and see what we really think um, I know everybody using them at the minute just swears by them um, which you know if I can get it going perfectly for me um, I'll definitely definitely be be using it and recommending it um, but so far um, just just a wee quick trial used but the test I was using was I think the wall was just too wet for me um, even rubbing it up with a, a float it was much better um, and sponging it wasn't wasn't finishing greatly for me so but i think the more i use the power float the better i'll get with it um, that way so again i have to keep trying it and keep keep persevering and see where, where we're at with the power float um, but on the other note of that power float um, which my mate Tape Slayer giving him a big shout out and um, been chatting to him on Facebook and stuff and he says that uh, the Colo Mix batteries um, should fit the power float and believe it or not the first clip you'll probably see of the power float will have the battery that came with the Colo Mix, the Metabo battery. So they're all compatible, which is great. So I'm getting, um, I basically have four batteries now for, you know, I can go between these things. Um, um, so get, get in between them batteries, that means that I'm basically set up for Somebody was saying that if you want to have them cordless power floats for on site that you need four batteries with them. So there's four batteries there, so I can't see any reason why I can't rub up on a lot of big cables and stuff with it. So fingers crossed to that one. Um, just faced the McDonald's and I'm very hungry today. Uh, only had half a lunch. Um, I don't, I don't, make my own lunches I, I have a, a brilliant wife that makes my lunches but she forgot to put the sandwiches in so I've definitely lost a bit of weight today but I'll have them tomorrow anyway let's just put them up in the fridge you should see me right for tomorrow that way so Sorry guys, uh, going around through, through a lot of junctions and stuff here, I need to concentrate a wee bit. But um, yeah, so hopefully the sandwiches will keep good for me for work tomorrow. Um, although this day is Friday, um, I'll probably upload this on a Friday. Probably upload this tonight, so you just get it. Um, very, very miserable weather. Wet, dull, cold, it hasn't been cold, as cold the last sort of two days. 
and but it hasn't been has been warm either. And warm when you're working, but when you stop and you slow down, and everything you you feel the coolness creeping back in. Um, definitely not good for rendering outside, and um, especially on old walls. There, what I was doing was even probably even worse. Um, did see some product there on Instagram, uh, more rapid set cement. Um, very curious of that. How rapid is it? Is it going to be just good or is it just going to be like um, Kill Jack? Um, Jack Frost. And um, what that Kill Jack and Jack Frost is, is it's a fluid, a liquid. And you put it in with your water and it should set your render quicker which I'll be using next time before I try to use my power flow. Um, there are smaller walls though, so give it a go and see, see what it's like. Maybe I just haven't got the technique on it yet. But um, so basically, yeah, the power float and the cola mix, they're gonna hook up well because the fact that the, 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 they're compatible batteries, they're all metabol batteries, which is very good. Um, very good for anybody who's thinking down the route of what kind of drills and stuff to get. I uh, still have been using the, the Ruby drill of course as well, it's still going good for me. Um, it's more sort of using the Colo Mix and then if that dies I have the Ruby on set up as well ready to go or say you, get, you finish with your big bucket and you maybe only need a small yellow bucket, a wee builder's bucket, a wee water bucket and maybe only need a half one of them. The Ruby's uh, fin is much smaller so it fits in there far better so it does. Um, it keep, keep, keeps the, the mix from being all over the place. The Ruby I find doesn't splash out. It must suck down um, so it's definitely keeping rub dust in the mess. It keeps the mess to a minimum as well, where a bigger blade on them drills might, might fire out, out all over the place. Which is the last thing you want, is a slippy floor full of skim or bonding. Um, but I seem to be keep getting red lights here. It's just not helpful. Oh, especially when you just want to get home. Been a long enough day. Um, but yeah, they're going great. Um, somebody on Instagram has asked me about the the um, Superflex 3 and yeah it's it's still working for me fine I still use it and um, have been using my Ox recently and it's been going good as well I find the Ox sharper than the Refina but that could be a bad thing if it hits you across the hand and absolutely slices you apart um, but yeah, it's super good at finishing. Super, super good at finishing. And the Refina Superflex, I feel that it's more all round. It's not maybe just quite as much just for finishing. I think you can go a bit earlier and stuff as well with it. Um, stiffer blade, thicker blade. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely a crack and trial as well. And I always love the Superflex from Rafina, but I definitely I, I do prefer the their stronger one. I find that it'll last a bit longer for everybody out there as well. And that, you know, it won't damage just as easily because it is a stiffer blade, a thicker blade, so it won't bend out of shape as, as quickly. And like I said, I'm still using mine. I still have the other super flex, the blue handled one, the original. Um, it's still going good. I don't tend to grab it as much. I definitely seem to go more towards the, the Fena Superflex 3 and the Oxtrail at the minute. 
So they definitely seem to be my finishing trial choices at, at the moment. Although that being said, the hit I did today, the couple of hits I did today, I just finished it with my Refina Premium trial, stainless steel, which I can't fault it. I've had it for a long time now and it's still my main skimming trail. I wouldn't use it for sand cement anymore as I'd be fearful of damaging it, of getting nicks and chips in it or or just when you're rendering you tend to maybe hit snatters off, just maybe hit them off with the back of the trowel. So I tend to just keep a, a rendering trowel at all times, a brand new trowel. And at the minute my rendering trowel is the the Refina again, they have sent out, a, you've seen it in the unboxing there recently, they've sent out a rendering trial, it's very, very long to be honest, it's pretty long, um, which is, it's, it's good, like I don't mind trial method, but it's maybe too long, um, doing reveals it can be a wee bit awkward if somebody's holding a rule for you, it can be a wee bit tricky, um, just Move, moving it about and stuff. So, yeah, I, th I think I've covered all the tools. Um, I'm going to devote, uh, if anybody's got this long, the, the, the product that failed on me was actually green grit and basically ceilings dropped. I think I've made a talk about this previous but I want to dedicate a video just to this to get to get the word out there that it did feel on me and um, on a ceiling. Now it might have been just two out of a hundred jobs and um, coincidence I don't think so but we'll see and um, see if anybody else comes up with the same issues. I know the issue that I had there is just, it was terrible, like, you know, coming back to fix your work. I'll obviously stand over your work, like, but um, well, I do anyway, and all good plasters should um, definitely stand, stand over their, their work and show yourself as a, a good tradesman. Um, but what I found hard to swallow is the fact that I did everything by the book. And, the ceiling still failed and it still seemed to be only me picking up the pieces which is a bit hard to take um, but sure if that's the way the companies want to go that's the way the companies want to go and um, I don't find that very professional of them but then they say they can't admit responsibility whatever um, but yeah, enough about that. I'll, I'll go on about that on a different video. I'll have a bit of a rant about that and catch up about that and see what what, what other companies have to say about things, you know. But yeah.